They're so pretty. Um, I hate that little white spot there. And this end is eh. Because there's another little space, but it's looking pretty good. And now this is empty. And I'm probably going to fix this again and that up there. But for now, it's that's that's pretty good. <laughs> and I still have my mermaid doll here just on a little hook. I don't know. Okay, I've done the trolls. I put the troll case back there and another box. So it kind of helps put everything up. Um... I still put my little zelfs in the front because I only really have six of them. Three little babies. Oh. Three little babies. And um, three mamas or papas. And I really want to get the little bats and ghoulish ones. But yeah, so My Little Pony looks good. This looks pretty good. I wanted to have them like in halves. But I obviously have more trolls and I and I still put the little dolls of trolls here too had another pink one somewhere um did I cover her oh she's right there yeah it's like a doll so I don't know I don't have enough of them to put them by themselves so I also did fix my brats so that's what that looks like right now. I just made some stands for my dolly dolls. Um, or like other figures. I just took some like parchment paper, tin foil, and pasta boxes and painted the sides that will be visible black because I prefer it. And I have that one silver tin, but I'm probably just going to leave that and use it like that. And I can prop some more up, possibly in that little cubby there, because I still have to figure out how I'm going to organize these shelves. But some of them are coming along pretty nice, like them and them. As well as my brats, they look pretty nice. I really like chaos, but I like the organized chaos, I think, more. So, hopefully I can try and keep dolls of the similar together. I don't even know how much I actually care. <laughs> I guess I'll figure out, because they're just everywhere. But I love my dolls that are on the ceiling. Have Hello, Tiggly Beeps. Um, the room is coming along. It is very nice outside today. It's kind of hot. Kind of muggy. Um, but just momentarily, because I was actually perfectly fine in my beautiful outfit. Oh, little pimple I don't like. Um, where am I gonna... My jewelry stand is pretty cool for a... Um, if I turn it a little bit. Let's turn it more. Oh, hello there. Little lopsided, isn't it? Um... The room is coming along. Baby dolly is still up there. Baby dollies up there. I am missing one posable doll. I have no idea where it is. It was the one I tried to repaint, so maybe that's why he's just put away. But I'm not sure in what box or anything. Well, I probably have an idea, but I'm not gonna go opening a bunch of boxes right now. Sorry. Now the main thing is tops of the shelves, if I even have anything that I really actually want to set up there. And, um, yeah, I don't know, something else. 
Uh, I've been coming out of a bout of depression. Listening to David Palmer and picking myself back up. Uh, just minding my business doing art and I just love talking about dolls. Really do. Thought I saw a kitty. Thought I saw a kitty. Um, my mum just visited and that was really nice. And my sweet rabbit will be home within today. Uh, he went camping very far out with the boys. Or as I call them, the moys. Mm. I've just been trying to sort out the small figures. I'm not sure where I'm going to be putting them right now. I just have them in a drawer, most of them. Not all of them. Not all of them, but I would like to have them all out. I could possibly put the little LOLs in front of the Madame Alexander dolls that I have, because I don't have that many. But I feel like I'm just going to get more, so then I'm going to have to reconvene. Oh, I want to put these earrings on. Uh... I'm just, oh, I love these earrings. They are super heavy, and my ears have been being wonky um, as of late, which is really annoying me. But yeah, I like these ones. These are really heavy on your ears. So. Ooh. Whoever brought these back brought them back because they were too heavy. But I ain't gonna quit. Oh my gosh. This bracelet. I just want my sleeve to stay in there, but it's too big. That's what I want it to look like. Possibly some black nails, but I'm not. I'm, I'm not doing that right now. And I keep teasing my hair. Except, I don't know that I'm even really doing it the the, the way. But life is just a game. So, here's the happiness. My brats look mint. Trolls and Zelfs are fine. Eventually, the Zelfs will have to reconvene and move over because they're in the spot of trolls. So, there's two problems. One might grow, well, both might grow. One might grow over. Um, hold on. Ah, okay. And I have to take this call, actually. But basically, a bunch of shelves are looking better, but not, not pristine yet. But this room is just always, like, back and forth. So, we'll see as it goes along. It'll be interesting to see. I have also just decided that I am... Actually, my sweet rabbit told me this idea, and I kind of thought of this, but I didn't actually think of it. And he said, what if we put this shelf going across? So tomorrow, it is the 25th of May, 2024. I'm going to be putting... 
are going to the store to get the brackets and the stuff to make it secure, stud finder, and we're going to put it and raise it. Uh, right now I'm just going to take it out, move this over. Um, I don't know if we might need like a ladder because it's kind of, or I might just leave that there for now and take the dolls off because I am going to be O-A-K some of these. Just the ones that I don't have many of. And, or no, what I'm trying to say is ones that are doubles that I'm not really worried about. Although I do really want to keep them just as they are, but I feel like it might be better for my collection. And I want to sell stuff, so I've been putting stuff here for now, just, you know, remedying the space. And I love putting things all around, so I can also fix the tops. So I'm probably going to fix that today. And little baby Dolly, her eyes are open. It's kind of creepy. I kind of like when they're closed. So let's hop up. Step up. Um, yeah, thank you. Good night, little baby. And, oh, this is what this looks like now. I don't know if I even videotaped this. But got Madame Alexander, some LOL tots, some mini Lala's. Uh, and that one Shopkins and one palace pet. Just hiding with that cool gothic chair that is my entire existence. And down here we have, I forget what this is called, it's like a brushable pet. And I forget what these ponies are called, but I love them. They are so cute. I have five. <laughs> we have zombies and some poly pole cuts. Um, yeah, that's, that's all for now. This is what the shelves look like here. I know they're not completely done, but that's okay. Here's where I do my my cop. Get ready. Dollhouse looks like this. I really love... I used to call them telecommanders, and... I just think they're cool. I have another one somewhere. I don't even know where I put it. But... Here they are. That one looks really grody. But it's just the effect. I like this kind. That's cool. I wonder if it had a slide over so that it would be just a brick. But I love this. So that's those. This is kind of cool too though. So I'm going to put these probably just in a box for now because I don't know where I would put them, but I love them, so I'm gonna do that, but for now they're just here. Okay, it's kind of a mess, but it's coming along. I really need to repaint that, but like I just kind of like the decrepit look, so it's okay. Well, rustic more than decrepit. It's kind of just by itself doing that. But here's my one of my first OAKs. But she's pretty. But here is what it's looking like. I it's not completely done, obviously yet. Tomorrow has not yet come. Oh my god, she's so pretty, Nefra. She used to be behind in the in the squabble, but oh my gosh. And I really want to redo this, but I just haven't really figured what I'm doing yet. So I'm gonna do that and we'll see. I was gonna put one of the Monster High cars out of the three up there, but I think I'll reserve it. And I also wanted to keep all my doll stuff separated into what they are, but I don't know. I might be putting Monster High in here, and this has, like, all kinds of 
toys in there, so we'll see. Um, but this is looking beautiful. I did put risers in here, which I wasn't before, previously. But, you know, and then this shelf, even though there is some Monster High, I'm gonna be keeping this for any Begoth or Living Dead dolls right now. I only have... Oop. Oh my. Okay, these few. Which I am so overjoyed about. And... I don't know. I was gonna take all the monster hidels that were incomplete or had doubles of and make OAKs, but I think right now I'm happy with how this is and I'm just gonna leave it for now, I think. Which I don't know, I've been struggling with like the artistic thought process of how do I think and what does that mean? But honestly, whatever. This is what this looks like here right now. I'm kind of annoyed that it doesn't go to the ceiling, but that's fine for now. Sleeping little baby. Let's 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 look at. Oh, so cute. I might get into those, I guess. I don't know. I like creepy things, so this is like my favorite corner. But I do also love baby girl things, like just girly things. So, you know. Anyway, it is nighttime. I put all my sketchbooks here and and over here, like notebooks, sketchbooks, things and stuff. Just for me being able to put this up. I think it'll look amazing. There's the dolls over there. Like, on the ceiling. Um, Rapunzel's hair has to be fixed, as in, like, its actual style, but I don't want to take her down. So, I'll just leave her for now. But I'm very pleased right now. So, I don't know where I'm gonna... I tried to put this underneath, but the little top part and it, I don't seem to know how to take it off so I'm just gonna leave it and that's okay that's okay um and I have to figure out what I'm gonna put up there I love the Vampirina castle it's so pretty oh uh, I mean Monster High is over here too so I mean what's it matter it's all in the collection this is my my art cabinet so it just has art supplies so you know well it's kind of i did organize it recently but it could be reorganized again because i make a mess more than reorganize i possibly mean just take out the things that don't actually belong in there and i could use like the blue whatever these are called they're usually for tools but I'm gonna, these are gonna be black, just like my soul, and I'm gonna put them somewhere. Possibly with beads, that would be amazing, because I would love to be doing custom stuff. But I have so many ideas that I just don't know what to do. And, and this, I want to take these things out, and I don't know how to exactly store them yet. But these are shoes for Monster High. And I have another one that has the Monster High minis. I don't know that it's in here. It might be in another place just because I wasn't sure how to, s to display them how I wanted. Because I do want them in here. But since I have two cases, I could possibly take one out. Because this would be a great thing to hang. Like, maybe not with this door. But, Yeah. That'd be great if it was, like, clear. Purple, but then clear. And I don't know what I just dropped. Apparently a shoe. Probably out of one of these. Yep. Just there. Okay, well. Anyway. I will 
will see you guys very soon. Like to commemorate it the first time playing cribbage. Can you cut my deck? Yeah. Cut my deck into pieces. <laughs> you can put it back down. Oh, sorry. Yeah, nice. I forgot. Nice, nice, nice. These chunks of wood that came off from our table that was overbuilt, I'm going to repurpose and make little tiny shelves. I'm going to paint them black. I just uh, cleaned them. And I'm going to paint them black. And, oh yes, the paint is in here. So I'm going to do that. Hi, little baby. Oh. He's sleeping. The many steps in the thinning of the ingot begins. The it's aluminum block is big ass, ass ingot. Temperatures in the rollers are between and It's really beautiful in the house today. The air is coming through the windows. And I'm going to finish cleaning up and do my art, get dressed, be beautiful. Um, I recorded a little song that I wrote and I want to work on that as well. I'm going to vacuum a little tiny bit and then um, have some just pure art time. <laughs> Have some music going <clears throat> and Pinterest. I'll see what stuff we get up to. I've been idling myself with dolls like far too long, so that's that. I still have to dress up. Good morning. My phone is on his way out. I just got back yesterday from my mother's. Mm, it smells so good. Um, I brought home some boxes. They're kind of everywhere now, so I have to start putting stuff away because um, I have some other stuff in the car that I have to go get today and clean. This is the art for right now, I guess. I'm just really feeling strange about bringing things back home. I feel like, I don't know, finding letters and things that I wrote down or whatever. It kind of 
kind of makes me feel like I'm I miss and I don't miss like being a child I guess but I have a few of my childhood toys and that's um oh my eyes feel gross I just feel like a very big sort of I don't know what I'm trying to say. I feel sad and not sad at the same time. And I sometimes wonder where the people I was most close to went are why I feel so alone, but I'm not. And I don't know, I guess this is a very silly clip, but I think it's really I think it's really nice to record really anything and everything because I've seen some clips and stuff of I've seen some clips and stuff of times that I only have very few of and it makes me really wish I had taken more of those like snapshots in my life. I've been drawing a lot in a sketchbook that was made for me and so I'm gonna tidy up and do that. I did find, I don't remember where of what I got this from, but I found this skirt and it's so pretty. Really pretty. And now I can wear that more, so that's cool. Um, anyway, I guess I didn't realize how I won't say traumatizing, but I just feel like something is tugging at me and I don't really know exactly what it is, if it's just the thing of getting older and mm, I don't know if it's the thing of getting older and just feeling like life has passed you by, but I don't feel like it's a bad thing that time passes and things change or grow or evolve. Like, I'm very blessed and happy for that. So... I'd like to be just like an open little diary here and enjoy because I want to capture the process of being the artist that I know I am and fulfilling my purpose and my desire, which is to, f to feel something that I create and 
that's the main goal. So I'm bringing home all this random stuff and yesterday I, I felt really I wouldn't say claustrophobic because I love having just a bunch of random stuff for interesting, intriguing things. But I was thinking of all the things that I have experienced and then just having these like, you know, little things that are from a certain time or whatever. And I just confused my own self, essentially, on how I feel or what I feel. I don't think this is making very much sense because I'm too much in my own head, but I'm gonna start doing some stuff because it's a mess right now. Oop. Yeah, see, found some cool CDs. There's like two other boxes back over there, and then there's boxes in the car, and I have these CDs that I don't even know what's on them. So, I'd love to find that out. Um, yeah. I don't know if I have to put my PC, like my big PC, but I, I don't really want to do that. So, anyway. That's the small update for this little art vlog. I've been feeling very... Just... Foggy rain. Anyway. I feel known and unknown at the same time. So, all right, that's it for now. Here's this cool little box thing. It's wood, and there's little angel cards that my mom gave me years ago. And it's, um, I think this is fur, but I'm not sure of what. It's pretty rough, so... I, mm, I don't know. I don't know what that is. It has these two little things I got a long time ago. I had bought some of these for some people and I have one left. And this little rock, that's nice too. I'm so glad I didn't give this one to who I was going to because I love it. Um, and they weren't very nice to me, so I got Now is the time for patience and willingness to share. Hmm, good message. I'll keep that in here. Um, we really like the land. And there's all the CDs. Probably have more, but I... This is just what I randomly brought home. So, it's mostly like Marilyn Manson, Smith's Pet Smashing Pumpkins Hole, and that kind of stuff. This is a puzzle that we made, and it seems to be missing stuff, but also is really hard to finish. 
But here it is. It's the Cinderella Castle. Well, here's just a few of the things that were in that box, well, one of the boxes. Just some interesting things, and like a lot of dead plant matter. That's just my coffee. But I also have roses here, so, and some paper. So I'm probably just gonna put all that stuff, I can hang this up on my wall actually. That'll be good for art. So, we're doing stuff. I have a really random assortment of things. I don't even know what this wire goes to. And I have um, yarn that I got from when I was like going to fashion school, so I'll just put it <laughs> in there for now. I don't know what I'm gonna use it for. This is like a thing my dad made when I was really, really young. I was probably like nine, um, maybe even eight, eight turning nine. I don't know. It's a little sled. <clears throat> And sometimes he remembers and sometimes he doesn't. There's some more yarn. A really nice gothic candelabra. These flowers were from my friend Reed. Those were, I think, from a boy I went out with named Josh. It's not like they're gonna know, but um, I still have them, and I wanna. Oh, there's a feather in. Oh, I don't even remember having that, but that's amazing. I'm gonna be pouring all of these into my garden when I have found it. There's a little heart piece of bark. It's so pretty. And I think these are um, from my mom. So she got me a bunch of these little uh, birds and this pumpkin. So yeah. And this has a skull on the top of it. My phone is severely dying, but I just wanted to make another quick little update. I don't know if because it's dark, it's also going to be dark on my camera, but I'm just organizing a little. I, I really want this room to be different from my art, and I privated a bunch of videos just because I didn't feel like it was my self that was coming through, so... I'm just sat here pressing up with all this, some of the things that I found. And I'm gonna use this paper for some crafts. And I have my little birth bracelets, that's cool.
stop and wait a sec When you look at me like that, my darling What did you expect? I probably still adore you with your hands around my neck The knife twists at the thought that I should fall short of the mark Frightened by the bite, no, it's not harsher than a bark. The middle of adventure, such a perfect place to start. Wait, hold on. Wait, oh, hold on, hold on. This is what is it called? Yeah. What? AWE non-resonated track exhaust cat back. I don't know what that means. It's not bad. <laughs> <laughs> Am I gonna mm, hear it? Oh yeah, you're gonna hear it. For years I've kept these newspapers because I wrote in them and took pictures. But I've gotten tired of having them I guess so I'm cutting out all the things that I did and getting rid of everything else because I think that's the healthiest thing for me and um, I drew that the other day with a bunch of other stuff but that's just the update for right now my room's a mess chaos that's all good. It is a rainy day. I really need to get a tripod. I do have one, hold on. It's just a little bit jank. Hold on. I should have got this figured before beforehand. But okay. There we go. That's all right. I have to do my hair. Well, I want to. I was sitting by the dolls. I recently <clears throat> um I recently took down a bunch of videos because I felt like something was just off. I want to really sink into just my art. And I've, I've been so negative towards my, myself. And I love the dolls. As we can see, there's some nice spooky dolls and I keep recording stuff but not really posting anything I've been having really trying times on what to do, how to do it, how to speak myself through it feel myself through it, heal myself through it and nothing seems to really conclude what I'm feeling, so um, it's been really hot here the last few days, and this room doesn't really get any air, per se, or light, I don't know. And I, I do, I, I did keep the window closed because 
and the curtains drawn because it would be even more hot. Anyway, the purpose of this video, which I'm going to see if I can cut it and do some editing, is that I really want to make my videos <clears throat> artistic and feel like I'm talking to somebody out there and connecting <clears throat> because I was just doing stuff that kind of filled the void of my childhood it feels like kind of you know dolls and stuff and toys I love I love toys and dolls and all that stuff which I'm not stopping per se but I just want to have a place where I can do art and share that more. And I guess I should do my intro because I didn't even do my intro. So I'll do that. Hello, I am your genius, beautiful Sarah Byron artist. I do a plethora of different art and the thing I would like to do a lot of self-healing, self-love through my videos of really actualizing myself and not judging art so deeply and desperately. I just don't feel like that is my path, I feel like, um, I want to enjoy this life and just putting everything out is ultimately what I feel will bring me that comfort and joy and reputability. If that's a word. Anyway, I am still bringing things home from my mother's house, so I don't know how I'm gonna be redoing the house. And the rain sounds beautiful outside right now. I love it. But I also would like to be able to share my fashion and home decor and just everything art artistic and fun. And I feel like I have tried to suppress so many things and not deal with them, but talking and realizing my voice and really using it will maybe help me and hopefully connect with people that would be really fun and and interesting and i i envision that for myself because i just don't believe that anything else is worth anything to me I just, art is everything, but it's also the most intimate and scary to put out from a multitude of reasons. And I've been reading, just behind me, I have stacks and stacks of journals and all types of journals just everything I have so many things that I've written or drawn painted or whatever and uh, oftentimes I'm a bit 
chaotic um, in which direction of chaos I don't I don't know it's probably partially destructive partially good I I'm not really I don't really know right now but I have lots of things that I would like to work through or I have lots of things I would like to rectify I have lots of things I would like to heal and put something into the world and have it just be instead of being always so anxious and timid and worrying about so many things like um, thyroid problems and relationships and all that kind of stuff. I'd like to pour all that kind of stuff into an art form that heals and feels comforting and like when someone has something that I've made they cherish it so I'll definitely still put things in my videos of my beautiful collections I just felt like I just didn't know how I wanted it to come across because we always have just our own perception of what we want to seem like or what we feel we look like in any way verbally or mentally or physically and I think I'm equally stubborn as I am uh, what's the word I'm looking for not molded but you know I see someone have this thing and I'm like oh I would too also like that thing but it's just like a very interesting thing to be alive it's very interesting to have conflicting emotions and um, I'd love to make all kinds of art music and painting and drawing and sculptures and fashion and just everything just everything 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 and um, yeah, I guess I'll leave, I'll leave that for now, just because <sighs> it's a wild ride. I just don't even know where to start this video. I feel like I have to restart it a million times, but I just think that that is not, I just think that the hardest part is getting started and just to do stuff is the greatest thing you know paint your nails do your hair do your makeup clothes I just want to feel like myself so it doesn't really matter if people think anything of you and um, it's a hard or a difficult, I don't want to say hard, it's difficult to sometimes remove oneself from judgments of others. But if somebody really loves and cares about you, they would allow your expression. I know you're not hurting anyone, you're not 
anything bad. It's just is what it is sort of thing. So, you know, I have dolls and trolls and little ponies and stuff. And I also love the macabre. And I also love the rain and I love so many things. Coffee. And I'd like to share that. So, here's to my awkward introduction video again. I guess we'll see whatever I can become good at and hopefully that's expressing myself so thank you for watching this video if there is anything that you would like to comment I would love to see it and until the next of whatever i will see you later